What's up, YouTube? It's Yardi Ando that talks to the react to another video. We got 051 Young Money vs. 600, the Daily War. Shout right, like, comment, subscribe, follow the links in the description, and let's get into it. Most fans of Chicago Drill know about the Deadly War between O Block and Tukaville. But that's just yeah. one of the many beefs going on in the city that has earned it the nickname of Chirac. The war between 051 Money Gang and 600 is another beef that has claimed countless lives and spread a wave of terror across the South Side. Oh, so that's why they don't ever count LA Capone. This nigga don't ever count LA Capone and Dirk Click, even though LA Capone was in the sign of OTF. Here's a look at this violent war. 600 is a set of the Black Disciples that's based on the 600 block of South King Drive in the South Side of Chicago. The set was founded by D-Thang 600 with the help of his homie Lil Boo. 600 started as a GD set, but all the other sets in the area Damn. were being claimed by BDs and a strong alliance between them was forming. So the early members of 600 decided it was the best move to flip sets and join the alliance. Oh, 600 would then okay. ally themselves with flip. other nearby BD sets like O Block, 300, <sighs> Lamron, nice. and Front Street. Plus, the set would become known in the early days of Drill for having a lot of talented rappers, including LA Capone, Rondo No. 9, Buka, Ide, Mimo 600, Tay 600, and 600 Breezy. 051 Money Game is a set of the Mickey Cobras, but is considered a renegade set known to play by their own rules. The gang also contains members of the Black P-Stones and even some GDs, they and it's based on Mickey First and Cottage Grove in the South Side. But we, we 051 friend, Money Gang too. didn't have as many famous rappers, but they did have plenty of well-known street savages, including 051 Melly, Drilla, sure. Rose, Lil yeah. Mark, Kiddo, Aero, Fathead, and T-Streets. The beef between the two sets would start after 600 founder D-Thang shot at 051 Melly and other 051 Money Gang members in 2011. D-Thing would be murdered later that same year, leading members of 600 to believe that it may have been the work of 051. Mm. This led to D-Thing's brother, M-Thing, to seek retaliation and kill 051 mm. member T-Streets on November 10th, 2011. This is the murder that officially set off the war between 051 and 600. Although 600 had music superstars like L.A. Capone and Rondo No. 9, 051 had one of the most respected shooters in the history of Chirac. 051 Melly, aka the Grave Digger of that Chicago. Boy be like that, boy. Melly he would be, be like the one that. leading the charge against 600 and would run up the scoreboard for 051 as the drama continued to increase. In February 2012, a 600 member who went by the name Shaq was at a house party on the 5900 block of South Calumet Avenue. While he was outside taking a piss, he was shot and killed by members of 051, Damn, with Melly and Kiddo allegedly doing the hit. Melly almost went as far as admitting to it in the video, speaking with his niece, where he says, I'm one of those type of guys oh, and who can wait for you in the dark when you gotta go pee at night. With and I just get you. I'm one of those type of guys that be in the dark waiting for you when you, when you gotta go pee at night. Oh and I just get you. <laughs> His niece clearly didn't get the reference, but the streets and fans on the internet heard it loud and clear. Be, 600 yeah. was already on the move, planning their next attack. The next hit would come just a few months later when a group of 600 members would catch Fathead or just Fats from 051 lacking and take his life Damn. to get revenge for Shaq. On June 22nd, 2012, Fats was walking to a corner store with his cousin when a light gray van started driving toward him. His cousin, who barely escaped with her life, said that the driver and the passenger were staring right at them as they drove closer. The van just kept driving, but a few minutes later, a man wearing a hooded sweatshirt would sneak up behind him and kill Fats. But why this ad is running? Y'all should go subscribe to the channel, like, comment, and Take subscribe. Your Share the on a video. You know, give me out with there. Taco Bell's flatbread tacos. Pillowy flatbread is topped so with seasoned beefy potato or savory loaded chicken. You retreat man, to deliciousness it, awaits. Give me copyright starting either, at just one dollar. But subscribe, my boy. The witness says that she recognized the killer as the driver of the van. She ran for her life, and when she looked back, she saw the shooter standing over him, firing off another round. Oh. A member of 600 named C-Day would end up taking credit for the hit, and 051 would begin planning their revenge. He's still Fats was only right? 15 years old at the time of his death and was a beloved member of 051, so they wouldn't waste much time getting payback. 600 yeah, Tricks would be the next no, victim to lose his life to this that, deadly yeah. war. He was murdered while sitting in a parked car on November 1st, 2012, and the hit was credited hit to 051 Kiddo. So the beef was really heating up, with bodies dropping left and right and no end in sight. But Trix's death was not enough to even the score for Fats. So, 051 will go after one of the most popular names of 600 next, L.A. Capone. L.A. Capone oh, was well known in the city and one of the most too. popular rappers in yeah. 600. He built a major buzz with tracks like Play For Keeps and Round Here, so many thought that he would be the next rapper from Chicago to blow up. But before he could make it big like Keith and Dirk, he would be killed after leaving a recording studio by members of 051. On September 26, 2013, 
LA was walking down an alley near 70th Street and Stony Island Ave after just finishing up a recording Stony session. Stony Island must as be he was a hot ass place, car, right? Yeah, a vehicle lot of pulled up and started letting off shots, hitting them in the thigh and lower back. The robber didn't die right away and was taken to Northwestern Hospital, but he ended up passing away from his injuries just a few hours later. The death of L.A. Capone was not only a major blow to 600, it hurt everyone in Chicago, especially the BDs. L.A.'s death was more payback for the murder of Fats, and it's been rumored that he was in the car with C-Day that night. It's also been rumored Damn. that before he was killed, Trix had been kicked out of 600 for snitching on Dro Philly. So his death wasn't enough to satisfy Man, It's been rumored that he was in the car with C-Day that night. It's also been rumored that before he was killed, Trix had been kicked out of 600 for snitching on Dro Philly. So his death wasn't Man. enough to satisfy their taste for revenge. They had to take out one of 600's biggest members, and LA seemed like the perfect target. Not long after, two members of 051 would be arrested for LA's death. 051 Lil Mick would eventually go down as the shooter and be sentenced to 60 years in prison for the murder. Yeah, 051 dang. Rockhead was also there for the shooting and was given a sentence of 45 years as an accomplice. Well, after LA's fuck? death, 600 would be looking for serious <laughs> payback. The? They would not only lose. What, six? Oh. Uh, uh, well, they had to kill me in that courtroom. I ain't making it back to the cell. Fuck that. 60 years, nigga. Street cred after two members got hit back to back, they were also losing their strength in the music industry with their best rapper gone. The perfect opportunity for revenge would come after 051 rapper Lil Mark dropped a diss track against a bunch of BDs, including 600. On March 25th, 2014, Lil Mark dropped a remix to the Lil Durk song Competition called No Competition that featured disses to both alive and dead BDs. On one particularly wild set of bars, Lil Mark raps, Wake up, ate a bowl of tricks. While I was blowing on D-Thing, oh, riding down the Steve Drive, think I'm finna OD, took a trip to LA, while Keita man, she throat me. In just a few Six bars, Lil bars. Mark's this dead members of OTF, O Block, Lamron, and 600. Three bars, As you might expect, man. just a few days later, Lil Mark would be shot and killed while waiting for a bus after he and 051 Lil. You can't be riding the bus with ops, nigga. I don't care. And how you live, we're out man. looking for ops. You can't be riding a the bus. 600 affiliate spot a Lil Mark waiting for the bus and called up D Rose from 600. D Rose returns in a van full of BDs and opened fire, hitting Mark in the head. It's also been rumored that right before the shooting, D Rose yelled out, Hey, Lil Mark, you forgot your bus ticket. With D Rose in the van that night with THF Twilla. 051 was also beefing with another BD set called THF or Trigger Happy Family, and the hit was a collaboration between the Trigger two sets. Happy other people rumored to be along for the ride were King Von and T Roy from O Block and Five Star from Folly Boy. You need all them people Lil Mark's person. death would spark a new beef between 051 and OTF after Lil Durk would go to the bus stop where Lil Mark was killed and call it a real famous bus stop. Bus stop, man. Hey, this this hey, 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 this bus stop right here, though? This is a real famous place, you hear me? 051 Melly will respond by killing Dirk's cousin Nooski and then his manager Damn. Chino a year later. Check out our previous videos on 051 Melly, Chirac's hey, Deli really Shooter, like and the curse of Lil Dirk for see. more info on this beat. So, 600 had managed to even the score a bit after the death of LA Capone, but they wouldn't stop there. Lil Boo, one of the founding members of 600, would keep the streak going and take out 051 Polo just a few months after Lil Mark was killed. On June 30th, 2014, Polo and another victim Tell would be shot stops. at around the 600 block of East 50th Place. A neighbor heard the gunshots and found Polo bleeding on the street. He held his hand until yeah. ambulances arrived, but he passed away on the scene. According w to neighbor. witnesses, Polo and the other victim who got shot in the arm had been arguing with someone in the van when bullets started flying. Lil Boo from 600 would take credit for the hit. The final murder in the beef between 600 and 051 would come almost a year later when multiple members of 051, MOB, and Jarl City would take out Lil Boo one of the highest ranking members of 600. On April yeah. 3rd, 2015, hey, Lil Boo was walking down jail, the 5800 block of South King Drive when a car pulled know. up next to him. One of the passengers jumped out with a handgun and opened fire, hitting him multiple times. He was taken to Northwestern Memorial Hospital where he later died from his injuries. Well, Someone even took a photo like, of Lil Boo's dead body laying next to a car oh, tire. Many of his ops oh, would use this weird. photo to mock him after his death, giving him the nickname Tirehead. 051 Uchi is credited with the hit, but in the car with them was Aero from 051, Bebe from MOB, and Motor from Jarl City. After that, yeah. the beef between 600 and 051 would start to die down. By that point, 051 had earned the title as one of the most hated groups in Chicago and would move on to beefing with other gangs. After the death of Lil Boo, 600 would start to unravel. They had already faced a major loss after C Day and Rondo No. 9 would be arrested for the 2014 murder of a cab driver named Javon Boyd. They would both be found guilty Number of the crime in 2016, forever. with C-Day getting 38 years and Rondo getting 39. 
To make things even worse, C-Day's brother E-Day, along with 600 Breezy, accused Tay 600 of snitching on Rondo. Tay 600 was fighting a gun case at the time, and they say that he cooperated to make it go away. Tay 600 denied the rumors and was later able to prove his innocence after official court paperwork was released. Yeah, like it was a fake statement floating G, around man. and it said in the statement, I, Jamonte D. Carpenter, have seen Rondo and C. They shoot the person five times, you know. And the statement was so fake because if you read the statement, for one, court document's not going to say Rondo and C. They's going to say Courtney and Clint. And, it, and then, like, the dates on the, on the really? fake statement sense. was all type of up. The, the, the addresses was up. But the allegations definitely hurt his reputation and caused internal issues within 600. So, after Lil Boo died, it seemed like 600 lost direction and everyone from the gang just went their separate ways. 051 Melly will be murdered at a house party in 2019, but not by a member of 600. Just recently, E Day 600 was shot and killed in Chicago after attempting to leave the streets alone and start a legal reason. trucking business. The motive behind E Day's death has not been revealed, but it could have been the result of old beef, possibly with 051 Money Gang. Check out our previous video on E Day 600 shot and killed in Chicago, RIP, for more info on this case. The feud between 600 and 051 Money Gang was one of the deadliest in Chirac history, but it ended just as quickly as it began. But that's how these beefs happen sometimes. Well, that one ain't instance no of disrespect <laughs> can lead to an all out war <laughs> until everyone is either dead or in jail and no one is left on the streets to continue the battle. But both crews will go down in hip hop history as two of the most respected gangs to ever run the streets of Chicago. If you thought this video was crazy, be sure to check out our channel for more. From Chicago drill lyrics that really happened. Hey, but that's the end of the video. Shout out to 600. Shout out to uh, BDGDs, all y'all. Shout out to all y'all niggas. Um, like, comment, subscribe, follow the links in the description. I'm Yachty, I'm out. All praise to the most high.